All right, I've had a few people ask me, uh, so I figured I'd show everybody what's going on with this. Um, this is uh, one of the leads that come off of this battery. It's normally plugged into, where are we at here? It's normally, of course it has to be tied up. Ugh. Normally it's plugged into this, which feeds this uh, dual USB port via this switch here. Um, the other lead comes off and feeds into this Y connector, which on the other end of this plate here is the AC adapter, which is feeding us voltage right now. Um, and then the other end of that comes out uh, over wait where are we at I lost my wires the other end comes out over here and goes into this little audio board so that's the wiring end of everything right yeah so yeah right now we've got the multimeter in the port that normally is right here and off the other side of there we've got this Y connector which has the female end over here to meet with this male end when the other end of this Y connector goes into this board <laughs> alright so that's everything power wise now audio wise here's left and right audio I don't know if you can see them both but there's one of them uh, that little green terminal block there these wires are stuffed into that um, each of those left and right, I don't know which is which in this particular case, uh, gets split. Um, here's one split there, uh, which one goes to this pair of, well, one of these in this pair of crossovers. The other one goes directly to my full range speaker. Um, and then, you know, that repeats on the uh, opposite side. <laughs> And then over on the other end of the crossover, let's get some of these things out of the way and get uh, that in focus. No, I said focus. Maybe, yeah, oh, all right, there we go. Now we got some focus, maybe. All right, cool. And uh, off of that, in the woofer side, um, since there's a pair of these, I've got a pair of these that get joined back here together. But inside here, I've got a cluster of resistors in each of these ones to try to get the ohms down to a level that this is happy with. Because with all of this stuff, the end result out there was, was way lower than, than this thing liked. I'm still not quite perfect. I'm like just hovering above four maybe five ohms I might uh, do some more tomfoolery and try to get that into a much happier state um, and then I'll have all of my audio going where it's supposed to be because this cluster clump of stuff goes to my one subwoofer and then the other side of the crossovers goes to my little power acoustics tweeters so that's how everything is wired um and that's all of that stuff uh now looking at any of this if anybody's got any ideas or suggestions or warnings or helpful hints or anything um like what did i use for certain things that i didn't specifically show you like this is a TDA 7492P, I do believe, supposedly 50 watts per channel, although I might upgrade at some point in time. It's also got Bluetooth built in, but I had to add an extra wire to make its Bluetooth reception a little bit better. Uh, this switch does nothing. It used to do something, but now it does nothing. Uh, these, I don't particularly know exactly what the crossover frequencies are on them. Um, I suppose I could probably find out if anybody actually wants to know. 
Um, and, and yeah, there's all that. Um, if anybody wants a little cleaner diagram of what's going on here, by all means ask, and uh, I can share that with you uh, in the future if necessary. I'd show you inside there, but nobody really wants to see that. I'd show you the speakers, but everybody knows what speakers look like. I'd use your imagination. It used to be um, a custom with a K uh, audio uh, PA speaker um, with one uh, subwoofer style speaker and one cone square cone no rectangular cone style uh, tweeter piezo driven tweeter which I've taken those two speakers out and replaced them with a bunch of other custom speakers and some custom face plating in order to get everything to work happily um, and there's all that so uh, yeah if anybody has any questions or comments or, you know, toss me a like, toss me a dislike. If you like what's going on here, then uh, please, by all means, subscribe. You guys take it easy.